Welcome back to the Connect Network TV. So Rebecca Contreras, I have to pronounce it like that, is the president and CEO of Avantgarde, a consulting firm uh, she actually founded back in 2011 and has now grown to more than 110 employees across the country. So Rebecca recently won, congratulations to her, the gold and silver Stevie Award for best female entrepreneur. In addition to growing her business, she's giving back with her nonprofit called Launching Pad that is benefiting um, disadvantaged students in a big way. She is talking about all the things. Ladies and gentlemen, Connect Fam, please help us welcome Miss Rebecca. Welcome you to the Connect Fam. Contreras. Thank you, ladies. Contreras. Muy bien, muy bien. So uh, listen, I am so thrilled to be with you guys. I was with the Texas team last year um, and just had a ton of fun with them. And I, I understand I'm with the the Suave team in Miami. So <laughs> we bring the heat. We bring the heat on the show. <laughs> you do. <laughs> well, it sounds like you are just a role model for these young ladies and exactly what they need. So congratulations on all of your success. And before we get into it, your Girls of Legacy Initiative, we've got to take a moment and also get a few business tips from you because with 110 employees, girl, you know a thing or two about structure, scalability, and success, all the things I love. <laughs> so let's start with scaling. What are some of your best tips on a small business looking to scale? Well, first of all, let me just say, ladies, I don't know if y'all are aware, but women are the fastest growing small businesses in America, number one. And we grow, start and scale businesses faster and better than any other demographic. And so I'm really proud to be part of that 13 million and plus women owned businesses. I think one of the one of the key tips that has worked for me is, listen, you can start a business and have great ideas, but if you don't have the right people around you to execute, you will sink. And I think being able to attract the right people, retain the right people, empower, and then execute with them is so important. Uh, we just went through a comprehensive survey here at Avantgarde AG for, for short is what we call it. And we went through to see what the pulse of, of our team was across those nine different states. We had 90% of our employees respond saying that they felt valued, they felt connected, they saw themselves in the long-term vision of AG. So it's so important as a CEO, uh, you can absolutely have the right plan and the right toolkit and the right idea. But if you don't have the right people, it will be very difficult for you to scale. Well, you and your husband, David, created a nonprofit called Launchpad, where you proudly introduced the Girls of Legacy Scholarship and Mentoring Program. What was the initial vision behind that? Well, I will tell you, um, all of this sort of came together in a very accelerated pace. Um, you know, we're really good as women of coming up with these great ideas. I've had a lot of transformation in my own journey, but it's been through women that have believed in me and men that have believed in me and have invested their time. So Girls, a Legacy was burst out of that remarkable woman win last year. Uh, we launched it in April of 2022. We have 10 girls that we are scholarshipping. The unique thing about my initiative that's different is we're not just helping these inner city girls go to college or go to school, but we're mentoring them. I personally spend time with them and mentor them. Um, they come into our home, their families come into our home, and we're, we're doing life with them and really paying it forward in, in leadership and coaching. So Girls of Legacy um, is an initiative that was birthed out of that particular win with Remarkable Woman of Texas. It's so important to give back. Wherever you are in your community, your sphere of influence, take time to remember the little people because guess what? Someone took time to reach back and as I call it in my book, drag me out of the gutter and show me a different life and a different path. And it's so important to never forget where we came from. Rebecca, is there a digital aspect to it uh, for those who are here and, and maybe in, watching from different places? Is there a digital aspect to it? So, so they can they can actually connect with me on the website at RebeccaContreras.com. Um, and there's ways, obviously, that they can get behind the initiative and connect. We're always putting on uh, free content, by the way, around our leadership development program. And there's several links on the website. Uh, my website's all free. There's a lot of good information on there and content, things they can download. But if they're very interested in the Girls of Legacy in particular, the best way is to shoot me an email from that website. It'll come directly to my inbox. 
I love it. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Just great information. Um, how do we find um, you? Well, you mentioned your website. Is there another place that we can find you anywhere else? Or are we just Googling? Yes. You? Yes. Google so we're, uh, I'm on Instagram at Rebecca Ann Contreras with the middle, middle, middle name Ann. And of course, on Facebook and on LinkedIn as well. And uh, we actually do have this Tuesday, um, the Tuesday after Easter, we are launching um, the Girls of Legacy uh, uh, book. My book in particular will be on sale during a 48 hour window. 100% of the proceeds for the book will go to the Girls of Legacy. So it's just a way of instilling hope in people and getting word out. Uh, because again, it's important to remember, never, never forget where we came from, but also pay it forward to that next generation of young people that will be leading in our country. Um, I, I do want to say, ladies, you know, I'm sure in Miami, you guys are dealing with this. We're dealing with a lot of inner city pockets, a lot of kids getting into trouble. Um, it's where I grew up in inner city. My heart is there. And these kids are not going to see anything different unless we show them something different. And so Launchpad and Girls of Legacy is a way to show these kids that grow up in very poor communities that they can get out of the community, they can go to school, they can get a career, and they, and they can, if they want, start a business and become an entrepreneur millionaire. It's possible in America. Yes. Well, Rebecca, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. It was so great to hear all of what you've done and what you, what you continue to do for the community. So thank you for being here with us. Connect fans. Thank you, ladies. Absolutely. And for our Connect fam, don't go anywhere. Hot Topics are next.